Hello, today I'll be coding something a bit more basic, and that's animating a gradient. Now, this is a bit more complex because it only works out of the box in Edge, but there are tricks to make gradients appear animated in other browsers as well, such as background position or background size animation, or even using a pseudo element on top and animating its opacity or transform and stuff like that. But this is not going to be about any of those tricks. This is going to be about animating gradients in a really cool way with custom properties. So let's get started. Uh, we just uh, use the HTML element, um, just make it um, full height, now give it a background, um, linear gradient, um, and here we use an angle. And um, first off, we have a first color, uh, a first position, and then a second color. And uh, we want a sharp transition between our colors. Now let's um, register these custom properties. So CSS. Uh, register property and let's get started here. So uh, name as mentioned above, syntax, this is color in this case, um, initial, um, let's say it's going to be dim gray. I think this works. Okay, now just uh, copy paste this. Okay, this is going to be the second color. Uh, let's say it's dodo blue. Okay, now uh, this is the angle. Angle, and let's say it's 45 degrees. Um, now this is the position, this is a length percentage, and this means it can be either or a mix of them inside a calc function. Uh, let's say it's 25% initially, it doesn't really matter. Now we're starting to see something. Now let's add some keyframe animations. So first off, um, keyframe uh, and let's say it goes to minus 45 degrees, or it can go to, I don't know, some, some other thing. Now, animation, let's say this is 2.9 seconds. Um, let's uh, pick a nice easing. So let's say it's going to be a sign, something like this. Just uh, use it here. Now let's add a few more keyframes. Ah, oh, keyframes, sorry. I didn't know why this didn't work. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to work. So um, the first color is going to go to something like gold, let's say. Uh, the second color is going to go to, let's say, crimson. Um, the first position, it's going to go to, I don't know, 75%. I think that should work. And uh, yeah, there's some noise from the pipes behind me. Sorry about that. Now let's um, copy this stuff and uh, then just adapt it. Okay, so um, first off, we have the first uh, color. Let's do something like this. Um, and let's say um, it's going to be something like an ease in out. I think that should work. Um, this is going to be the second uh, color. Um, and let's make this a different 
easing, let's say easing out back. I think this is good. Okay, let's go back here and change the easing. Okay, um, and let's make this the position. Um, let's make something a bit more extreme here. So, um, yeah. Now, what we need to do is animation, iteration count, infinite, and also animation direction, let's make it alternate. And this gives us something a lot more interesting. And as you can see, all these custom properties are animated independently of uh, one another, which is really cool because it's something we can't achieve in Edge. And uh, what we're doing uh, here would be really, really complicated to emulate with uh, background position, background size, and uh, pseudo elements and stuff like that. But this way, it's really easy. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to put out more stuff in the future and not end up dying in a trash can, please consider supporting my work. You can do it in one of the ways explained in the description below with a donation. There's a donation link there. Or you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist. There are two links there as well, which would make this kitty very happy. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.